Hello everyone. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create cold formed sections using the software Crossec. Cold formed sections are used in many projects as a construction for buildings. On the screen, you can see a model defined in strap and composed entirely of cold formed sections. And this is how the model looks in render view. We will now demonstrate how to define a cold formed section and create a sections table using the strap software. The program you use to define the sections is called Crossec, a program which is integrated with strap, but is also a standalone software used for calculating section properties. In the model list view, in the top menu bar, choose the utilities option and select compute section properties. You can also open Crossec by clicking on its icon in the toolbar. We can now see Crossec open on our screen. To define a new section, in the top menu bar, choose the Section option and select New Line Section. In the window that opens, enter the various settings of the section you want to define. Enter a name for the section. Enter the size of the sketching area for the section. Enter the section thickness, enter the bend radius between segments, and finally click on OK. We can now see there is a cross at the end of the pointer. At the bottom left corner of the screen, we can see the coordinates of the pointer's location. To begin sketching the section, click anywhere in the white sketching area. The length of each segment of the section is defined by its X and Y components. You can move the pointer with the mouse, with the arrow keys on the keyboard, or by entering the coordinates values on the bottom left part of the screen. The step size can be set at the bottom right portion of the screen by entering a value in the steps field or by pressing F3 and F4 on the keyboard. We'll reduce the step size to half a millimeter. Let's start drawing the first segment which is 14.5 millimeters long in our example. To set the segment's endpoint, you can click the mouse, press the Enter key, or click on the green checkmark button in the bottom left part of the screen. Let's continue sketching the rest of the segments. Once all the section segments have been drawn, you can finish the sketch by reselecting the last point that was drawn. We can now see our section and some of its properties. Click on the Display Center of Gravity button in the toolbar to see the section center of gravity, shear center, and the distance between them. Click on the Properties table button to see the section's properties. Let's create a new section table based on the line we sketched. In the top menu bar, Choose the Section Table option and select Create Table. Enter a name for the table. In the table that opened, we'll name the section we're defining. In the table rows, we'll name additional sections. Now we will define a new section with almost identical measurements to the first section with a difference in height. The difference between the sections is in the 40 measurement which will change to 70. Once all the section measurements are defined, the program calculates its properties. It took 16 measurements to define our section. When a section is symmetrical, or when some measurements need to be identical, it's possible to reduce the number of measurements by defining which segments are identical in the section. In the toolbar, click on the Equal Dimensions button and select two measurements that are equal. In our example, we'll click on the button and define that segment A16 is identical to segment A1. We'll repeat the process with the rest of the identical segments. To go back to the section table, in the top menu bar, choose the Section Table option and select Edit Table. You can see that the number of measurements decreased from 16 to 8 measurements. To display one of the sections in the table, click on it, 
then click on the Make Current button and press OK. To see the measurements of the displayed section, click on the Display Dimensions button. Now that we've finished defining all the sections, we can transfer the table to Strap. In the top menu bar, under Section Table, select the Transfer to Strap option. In the window that opens, we can see the tables that were defined in the current file. Choose from the list the table you wish to transfer, select the units of measurement used in defining the section, and click on OK. A message pops up saying how many sections were transferred to the cold form section library in Strap. Please note that every section that transfers from CrossSec to Strap goes into the cold form section library and is planned in accordance with the cold formed code. Back in Strap, we'll enter a model. Inside the model, we'll define a new section by clicking on the Beams button in the bottom right menu bar. In the right menu bar, we'll click on Properties. We'll choose an empty section in the list. To go to the Properties, double click on the section or click on the Revise Define button. In the window that opened, under Steel Table, we'll choose the Cold Formed Library and click on the Steel Table button. At the bottom of the section types, we can see the sections we transferred from CrossSec. We'll choose the first section we drew, click on OK, and assign it to the columns in the model by clicking on Assign. On the right side of the screen, Check the Filter by Properties checkbox. Deselect all the columns by clicking on Select None and select the columns to which you want to assign the section and click OK. Finally, click on Select All and Close. You can now see that property number 6 was assigned to all the columns. Click on the Render button to see an imaging of the section. Now we're in the Steel Design module after we've defined loads and solved the model. In the right menu bar, we'll click on Defaults. In the Cold Form tab, we'll choose the code with which we'll plan the sections and click OK. To calculate, click on Compute on the right menu bar. You'll receive a result summary for all the beams. To see detailed results for our column, right-click on the column and select Display Detailed Results. The results show the section shape we drew in CrossSec, the section properties, and all the checks the program ran, including a detailed calculation with formulas according to the code. Thank you for watching.